Hi YouTubers, got some updates for you. It's uh, Father's Day and I finally got a chance to do what I wanted to today. And I've done a little bit of work on the mowers. As you can see, the mini Jeep is put back together, which you've seen like this before, but I put some uh, flat black spray paint on it just so it wasn't so shiny so you could see it better. The uh, front, let me pull this piece off. I've got it completely welded together. So now I don't know if you could see me or not, but this is me standing on it. It is welded to the hood mounts, and I've got the fenders welded to it. So now everything is all one piece, as you can see. I can move the whole body with just the front so that's something I've done today uh, like I said I painted it flat black just so that everything would show up a little bit better I put it back together just trying to get some motivation on it you know because it's it's kind of hard getting out here being able to work on it with the move going on and I'm still having to work but uh, I'm trying to get a little bit done here and there my main thing I'm working on now is the mud mower because it does run and drive as you've seen in my last video it's slow but it's it's moving the uh, mini jeep it's just a really good idea you know if you've got extra you know lawnmower laying around and some extra you know metal that you can use I, I definitely recommend doing something like this because it's very easy like I said I mean, I've used the original rear fenders for the front just use some scrap square tubing for this piece right here and then this metal that I used for this was only ten dollars the uh, steering came off the other rally you can see it says rally right here but it's the craftsman type steering where it's got the gear right here and the bar right here now this one I took apart and put the steering bar on top on most of the craftsman rallies that they, they go down on like the side like through the bottom and then it steers from the bottom like the rally I'll show you in a second. Uh, I like this steering a lot better as you've seen with the the MTD stock steering it just kept breaking the bolt that goes through the bottom which is actually like right behind here I don't know if you can see it but uh, they're just so flimsy they rock back and forth and over time that bolt head will break or it'll there's a little plastic bushing that goes through the frame those those wear out. It's just not a very good setup. So I, w I was going to put the rally on it. Uh, like I said, I haven't really done a whole lot on this. It's still theoretically been able to run. I've got the the key still on it. I took the battery out because of this steering. Uh, that battery I, I did end up busting it. I was dragging it out and it caught this corner right here. And I dug a big chunk inside the battery and it started leaking acid everywhere. So I went ahead and scrapped it. Uh, I'll get another one, you know, soon. But like I was saying, this is just, it's a, it's a really good idea, just the plywood. You know, I'll, I really need the metal, but with me moving, I have no money at all. Uh, this rally was given to me. You know, I had the spare parts laying everywhere. This is the gas pedal I was going to put on the, the mini Jeep. But, it's like I said, since this one ran, I went ahead and just put it over here. Uh, this bar right here came off of a little pink bicycle you can see it over there behind the tires which I also took the steering off and used fearless fronts idea I just cut this and cut two angles on the front but, you know, the handlebars were like this I just cut the handles off and then cut that piece off and it mounts right here on the front for kind of like a push bar so I'm going to weld that up and it'll be ready uh, everything on this one runs I've got my pulley to do a pulley swap on the back this one is kind of small I had either a three and a half or a four and a half I have to find a tape measure and measure it but uh, this will definitely ensure going fast but I'm not real sure I like it because it is so much smaller and with taking this in the mud I'm afraid it'll slip uh, so I don't know I'll, I'll probably try it on there and give you a video I'm trying to get hold of another uh, Craftsman or Rally that has the gear shifter on the side because where this one the gear shifter is in the middle 
but you really can't see it on this side. But if I go underneath, let's see if I can get the light to adjust, the gear shifter is in the middle, and then the belt is on both sides, right here. So if I put a smaller pulley on it, the belts will be closer together on both sides of the gear shifter, and I'm a, I'm about 100% sure that I will not be able to use reverse, first, or fifth and sixth because it's so it'll shorten my belts to where they're about like this far apart. So I won't be able to change my gears because the gear shift will push them apart. So if I can find the the rear fenders and the the gear changer bar that goes over the top of the pulley and then goes down to the side to your uh, gear selector, uh, it'll work a lot better. So if I get that, I'll definitely slap it on here. Uh, I told you in my last video that this will probably have a uh, a paint job on it before you've seen it, but that was yesterday. So uh, when I get some paint, I'll I'm gonna paint it a uh, camo. And I haven't decided if I'm just gonna do the big blotch of brown and bl and black and green on it. But what I'm thinking about doing is there's a couple videos I've seen where people paint like boats and like air rifles. They'll take sticks and stuff and line them up every so often, and then they'll paint just like over the stick. And I kind of want to try that and see how it looks, because it's it is a lawnmower and it doesn't cost that much to paint. So if if I don't like it, I can always sand it down and do it again with the big blotches. Uh, and I, I'm really not sure on what I'm going to do about the move and taking my lawnmowers. Since this one runs, I know it's definitely going. But unless I can get someplace to store that one, I really do not want to take it while we're moving because I'm afraid it might get stolen. But uh, that's something I'll worry about later down the road. Uh, I've got two more weeks until the move, so uh, I'm going to try to get as much, you know, work-in time as I can on these, and hopefully I'll get a, a romp down at the pond. I don't know if you can see, but it's supposed to rain again, which is killing us. This, there's a hurricane or something coming through, and the rain is just ridiculous that we've been getting. I haven't got anything major done outside other than just a few little you know small projects like the gas pedal and uh, putting the choke on this and then today you know like I said it's Father's Day so I got to do what I wanted today I painted that and threw it together so uh, like I said y'all stay tuned and I'm gonna try to get as much done y'all leave me some ideas on how to uh, like do the stick paint if you find like a good how-to video on how to do that uh, post a link or something you know so I can get a little bit better idea how to do that I have seen a couple videos and they're so so you know tell you how to do it so uh but I'm gonna try it you know y'all like I said y'all leave me a video comment like and subscribe uh, I'd like to thank all my new subscribers you know I really appreciate it and uh, for this front uh, you know I've, asked, I've been asking him a few questions here lately and he's giving me some you know pretty decent advice so that's a little shout out to fearless and, you know, really like the romp. I'm, that sucked about uh, Mud King's lawnmower tearing up. But uh, I did leave a comment down there about the uh, fuel shutoff valve and how to adjust that. And maybe it'll slow the gasket down there. So hopefully that helps you guys. But uh, that's it for this video. Stay tuned.